Okay. Yeah, oh, are you Peter Hotez? I am. Hi. Nice to meet you. How are you? Hey. So why are you not like going to debate uh, RFK on Joe Rogan's podcast? Oh come on, that's harassing. I'm just I'm just curious. What? I no, no, nothing I, hostile. Just curious. I haven't said anything one way or the other. I mean, are you planning on doing it? Uh, you know, I just he just invited me, so we'll see. And I think you should though. Uh, well, we'll give it some. We'll give it some. Thought. Okay. Okay. And what do you have to say to people who think they're vaccine injured? Uh, come on. Anything for them? I don't come to my house. I mean, do you have anything to say to people that think? Do you have anything to say to people? Yeah. I mean, do you think vaccine injuries are real, Peter? Peter, it's just a question. Settle the science now. On a safari to go vaccinate more kids? <laughs> Vaccines tend to save lives across the board, do they not? During the COVID pandemic, I have a new book coming out that basically says 200,000 Americans needlessly perished because they believe the anti-vaccine disinformation and refuse to take a COVID vaccine during our Delta wave and BA1 and Omicron wave in 2021-22 after vaccines were widely uh, available. So the point is anti-vaccine disinformation, it's always done a lot of damage and harm, but now it's a yeah. lethal force in the United States. And that's why we thats why we have to have that discussion. And I offered to come and talk to go on Joe Rogan again. I've been on a couple of times yeah. and have that discussion with him, but not to turn it into the Jerry Springer show with having RFK Jr. on. <laughs> There's a time and a place for a debate. I don't think a historian of World War II should debate a Holocaust denier. I mean, just to, you know, that's, that's my analogy here. Like, I don't think these debates between experts and cranks do anything other than elevate the cranks. For 18 years, nobody will debate me. In fact, I've scheduled many, many debates, and I've asked Hotez many, many times to debate me. And I think you've asked him, here, why don't you debate Robert Kennedy? And he said, because he's a cunning lawyer or something like that. Mm, but, um, yeah. but I've debated Hotez on the telephone with, uh, you know, with kind of a referee. And, uh, you know, I, his, his science is, is, is just made up. He cannot stand by it. He can't cite studies. Well, he was trying to tell me that vaccines don't cause autism. I said, yeah, okay, and his well, daughter well, has I, autism, and yeah. he wrote a book. Yeah. That, but I know, asked my him. daughter doesn't have that didn't get her autism from a vaccine. But I've read that book, and there is no science cited in that book. It's just him saying, you know, it didn't happen. But the fact and, that no one will debate you speaks volumes, especially uh, now. They can't say now that you're not popular. Do you take care of your immune system in other ways? Do you take probiotics? Are you cautious about your diet? Um, I'm not as cautious about my diet as I should be i'm a junk foodaholic uh, actually well that I seems mean, like a terrible thing for your health it, it is a terrible thing for my health and something my wife is uh, working on it but that seems basis. ridiculous for someone who works with health uh, i mean i don't have to tell you but there's a, a large body of data that connects poor diet to a host of diseases mm -hmm. That seems like a t crazy decision for a guy in your line of work. There you go. Sometimes the uh, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the it's not all brain. It's uh, it, it's something else. Do you take vitamins? I don't take vitamins. Really? Yeah. I don't wow. Do, I don't think they do. I don't think they're needed because most in the, Amer in the American what? in the American hold up hold up hold up. You don't think they're needed while you're eating junk food? Well, you know, ho hopefully I'm not only eating junk food, okay, right? but you know there's a large body of clinical mm -hmm. research on the efficacy of vitamins, mm -hmm. especially vitamins D, vitamins I, B. I have taken stuff. vitamin D for periods for and the periods. recommendation of my internist. Yeah. But trading. you still need your vaccines. I'm sure you do, but mm -hmm. vaccines aren't going to prevent cancer. No, that's true. Right. That's and true. You, there's a lot of diseases. Or that, diabetes or cardiovascular sure. disease. Or and a lot of these diseases yeah. are connected directly to diet. Right. We're going to yeah. get you healthy, buddy. Yeah. Can't be pushing only chemicals in injectable forms to facilitate health. Fair enough. Yeah.